What's up, everybody? It's Joe LaPuma. You were listening. You were watching the Complex Sneakers podcast. As always, I'm with my guy, Mr. Matt Welty. I feel like a thousand things have transpired since we've shot this last, right? Yeah, a lot yeah. has happened in the last eight minutes, including <laughs> including a call from Premium <laughs> Pete, which is always interesting. Love and my that. man, back from his alma mater. Yeah, well, from the game. I wasn't. Oh, you didn't go. Oh, from the game. He went right. on. You went we to we were on the road, baby. Yeah, we were on the road, but we still held it down. You went to <laughs> you an know. away game. We on felt a... cozy, though. I felt right at home. Yep. I and felt you... right at home. They call, it, they call it the horseshoe. It, it, I was the shoe man in the shoe stadium. Took a shot in the Instagram caption <laughs> I saw. <laughs> yeah. Had the lightnings on. Brendan Dunn is back yeah. in New York. How and, you and, and Oregon is back. Oregon is back. Big upset. Back on top. Big upset. How ranked was number four right now. Safe to say it's their return of the quack. I love that. I love that. Okay. Oregon football. At Ohio State this past weekend, your boy was in the building. I was all over Columbus. And you know what, guys? We get a lot of love in Columbus. Do we? Yeah. A lot, a lot of fans of the Complex Sneakers podcast out there. A lot of full-size run fans. Shout out to my guy, Max, who saw me in the streets. Shout I hope, hope, you, hope you make it to Oregon. Um, went to uh, Deontay Johnson's place, Soul okay. Classics. Oh, uh, yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Sneaker uh, store? Yeah. A lo- nice. lot of places store up and down Complex. High Street. Um, the Heat Archive, I think, was another one of them. But, yeah, we got we got a lot of fans out there. So once we get this uh, nationwide tour popping off, nationwide, I saw the we're nationwide building in Columbus. We're, we're stopping in Columbus. What did what did you eat in Ohio? I'm curious Oh, my about goodness. That. <laughs> so I'm curious about this. <laughs> um, I definitely feel like I need to go on, like, a salad cleanse for a good four or five days because A lot of being, hefty, hefty uh, meats. Yeah, being in Columbus, Ohio, it was a lot of burgers, a lot of grilled food, a lot of fried food. I went to some hot chicken place and got oh, a bunch of best. drumsticks. Um, cookies. Hot chicken comes with the pickles and the bread. Yeah, pizza at 1230 at, at Mike's. I, I don't want to butcher the name. What is that place called? Mike's. I got to look it up. Okay. Mike's Pizza Columbus because I, I want to show my respect to the people of Columbus and get the name of all their. their you want to show the right. respect to the people of Columbus <laughs> after you totally shit on the people. Last, last night slice, excuse me, last night slice. There we had we a unicorn bar. We were at 16 bit playing Smash Bros next door. It was it was a good time, and a big win. And a big win. The talk of the college football weekend, right? Yes, yes. In Oregon with the upset, Vegas didn't respect us. Ohio State was favored by 13 and a half points, 14 points. I mean. Not, not not even shot, but Oregon had lost the past. Comes. No, set it up for context. Yep. Oregon had lost two BCS bowl games to Ohio State. We've never beat Ohio State. Granted, yeah. we don't play at Ohio State that yeah. often. And I, I got to cut it off somewhere because once you get into me uh, analyzing yeah. Yeah. college football or any sport, it, it get, you find out it's pretty shallow pretty fast, but I'm still a proud Oregon alum. And what a and game. You wore those in the fit. <laughs> the Lightning good. Fours. In I guess there was a little discussion online because I remember I had said yes. on full size run I was like Brendan you're never gonna wear that shoe mm-hmm. and I said and I admitted it you proved me wrong mm-hmm. you wore the shoe and <laughs> I think someone in the comments goes this whole photo and caption is just one big subtweet at wealthy <laughs> <laughs> uh, they look good though uh, it was they even look good with a little a little uh, in the field in the field to them you know yeah it's a little, I, was, I was worried you know they look good i was you, worried bumping around there in the, in the stadium maybe we were going to get into a little bit of rumble and i you know didn't want to scuff the sneakers he up, also but. had a esoteric flex go ahead he human, wore the, yeah 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 the human made with I the duck those. Pants. I saw those. with the duck on the right Here, yeah. here's the he's thing two and oh well he's one and one or the human two made. and oh i'll tell you uh, ohio state's you, one and one well, okay but he's <laughs> one and one for the human made pants you know why Unfortunately, he wore them to Ben Felderstein softball game, which they lost. <laughs> the Foot Locker. So he's one. He's Ben Felderstein. Shouts to yeah. Complex Sneaker Social. You are one on one now. So yeah. Okay. And, and those me, are your lucky. Those are your. Those are your lucky sporting event pants. <laughs> they, they might be from now on. And it was important. I I don't own a lot of Oregon gear per se, and I wanted to do something mm-hmm. a little subtle. You know, the the yellow sneakers with the duck on the pants because I, this really reinforced being there. Some of the worst outfits you've ever seen are at a college game day on a Saturday. A lot, a lot of tucked in polos. <laughs> yeah, just like everybody, you know, at least from the duck side, everybody had the same apple green shirt on. Tailgating you know, and stuff. men yeah. who are 40, white, white men who are 47 years old and all their face is the same shade of red. And they have some well, pants that go just below their knees cargo in like shorts. a slate gray. Yeah, with a. It's the worst or the best? Because I was at an event. <laughs> okay. Friday night. Okay. Where the fits are different, oh, but I, I thought love you were going to say you were at the Met Gala. No, I wasn't at the Met Gala. I went to SmackDown at Madison Square Garden, and those the fits, fits were different. Are different, but amazing. Different in an amazing way. We great event. Shouts to Neil from WWE. Okay. Thank he you. Set I it up. Saw Peter Rosenberg there. How team AEW now. 
I am <laughs> agnostic. Yes, exactly. Okay. okay. But how close to the stage were you? Because I wasn't close to the field. At, at the I have front row. Oh, I, okay. I have front row, right near Pat McAfee and Michael Cole. Michael Paul Kors? Heyman. No. Trey Young came out. Trey Young came out. Good writing. Paul Heyman. Uh, what do you mean good so writing? Trey Young. They brought Trey Young. What do you mean like good the writing? writing of the scripting? Yeah, of like it's the, like a scripted. Thing. Yeah, it's just, not it like a an good, actual real moment. Someone it's not who knows a real how to sporting event. Someone it's like who, a scripted. Someone who knows how to win in the garden. <laughs> Trey Young came out. Really good night. It was. It was. Uh, but the fits, the wrestling fits. I I love wrestling events. It's What'd just, you wear? I wore. Since we're breaking down everyone's fit and wealthy, wore, I want to know I your these, fit for the weekend as yeah, well. I wore these mm -hmm. green hoodie and black uh, nylon pants. Mm -hmm. That's it. Someone had hit me up about it, and I think you had said it to me before too. Because what Trey Trey Young came out with Sammy Zayn, yes, that was, yes. and then what the, that you look like, yeah, him. Yes. yeah, and he had said that before too. Yeah, but that he, he looks like Sammy has, Zayn. He, has he red, does. He has red hair, but I I'm see him. He grew his hair out. Yeah, and he has like a big beard or whatever. I was trying to figure out who that was, and then he looks like him. It, it uh, it uh, it's <laughs> it's come struck. on. He does a little bit. He does. Uh, I can see it. I yeah. can see it. A um, bit. Shout out. Come I, on. I Hold who, on. I, 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 yeah. I don't know who he. I, I don't know who he is. Done. He's from Laval. Hold on. Oh, shout out to the suburbs of Montreal. Shout oh, out to all on. my people. I, yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking right. I hit the mic. Out. Oh <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, uh. John Cena was there. Um. Sorry about the mic, guys. Rough, rough. That's okay. Besides that, rough uh, weekend for New York Giants, Joe. We gotta figure it out, man. Not off to a great start. Not Your off football to a great team start. Didn't, didn't. Did you get together with the fam to watch no. it? Dolo, Dolo. Uh, I watched it. You know the football season. I have the red. Do you have the red zone? No. Oh, it's really great. You, you yeah, Dave Matthews. I, I don't have it. It's great. Okay. I saw it. Um, <laughs> he, Dave Matthews, for, for the audience, super yeah, yeah. producer who is back, Dave Matthews really co-signs the red zone. But uh, camera, he did, basically, yeah. any big play or touchdown, mm -hmm. it like keeps track of. So I woke up yesterday and I thought to myself, like, I'm going to really get involved Mm -hmm. With football this season, I don't do fantasy. Professional football, yeah, not like college er, football. Yeah, you like need some, a college football team. I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't ever really got into college football team. Maybe. Yeah, you want to go to a Ducks game? Yeah, maybe. I know Wealthy wants to go. I mean, yeah, I, that would be awesome. UConn did play in a BCS Bowl one year, and I think that that's like it was funny because that game, the, the fact that UConn played Oklahoma in a BCS Bowl, and they were like, some of these conferences don't deserve auto bids anymore because <laughs> UConn was like an eight and four team that like <laughs> dude, made a BCS dude, Bowl. Dude, this is such a great display. Out. We've talked about Wealthy's memory before. <laughs> His memory for college football is incredible. Like, Are you he a big knew... college football guy? <laughs> I was. For, I was. He for has a the stretch. stats. Was for a stretch. He has the stats on deck. Like he just told us UConn's record. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that one time they um, went to a bowl game. When I was at UConn, Dan Orlovsky yes. was the quarterback. Yeah, he played in the NFL, right? Yeah. And now he's on ESPN, I believe. A yeah. lot of different NFL shows on ESPN, and I remember. Jonathan's at the student union had like these great chicken sandwiches. The okay. line was long. He mm -hmm. cut it. He didn't cut. He wow. didn't cut it. So Man of the people. Shouts to, yeah, shouts to Dan Orlovsky. <laughs> but putting a pin in NFL football Sunday, I was like, I'm really going to get into this. I'm going to watch the red zone. I'm going to keep track. And then the Giants just had a really rough game. And it's like, this is why, like, this is why I haven't got that into football because yeah. It's been it's been rough, but I believe in them. We are sticking by them, and only up from here. Thursday we play the Washington football team. Donnie Quack. Yeah, you guys gonna put some money on us? Milkshakes. <laughs> Milkshakes. <laughs> Maybe a dinner bet. Maybe a dinner bet. We'll I really see. regret not putting any money on the Ducks game, especially because I was down money. I felt like going into it because I had this flight voucher situation mess. Oh up. yeah. You guys ever take those vouchers when the the flight is over? I've thought about oh, it, but I don't want to wait like. Maybe you to, like they put you in a hotel or something. You have to wait like eight hours. Or yeah. was it JetBlue? No, I'm not a JetBlue guy. You're how, done. We're how, off. How that. big was okay. the voucher? Well, going there, I'm a Delta guy. Okay. Uh, you know, got the gold medallion on deck. So sh shout out to you. Got the wings. Delta. <laughs> no. Had <laughs> <laughs> the little wings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, going there, and I think this happens frequently in big college game day situations mm. where there's a lot of people traveling to maybe kind of a smaller city. Yeah. And they, there's only so many flights. To exactly, a small exactly. So airport. going there, they were they were like, oh, we could give you three hundred dollars. And I said, well, what's the flight looking like? And it was a little bit long of a delay. And I said, nah, I'm good. And then they got it up to seven hundred dollars. And I said, sure, I'll take it because I didn't have anything going on that day and I could afford to be in town a few hours later. Yeah. And then I was like, yeah, let's do it. 
And then they boarded the whole plane, and then they called my name at the end, and they boarded me anyway. And I was like, no, I want the seven hundred dollars. What? You? Yeah. And you didn't so, get it? No. So I was so hyped for a few moments, thinking about all the different things I was going to spend the seven hundred dollars on. But coming back, you got it. I landed a thousand dollar voucher. Oh wow, this guy had a Wait. good weekend. Okay. <laughs> thing, thing I'm curious, so okay. Thing I'm curious about is since it's them giving you the money like officially, are yeah. their taxes taken out of that? Um, I don't know. They just gave me, and please don't snitch on me to the IRS if so, but I, I got a couple Visa prepaid. Imagine, imagine how much that would cards, suck basically. if you got like a $700 voucher and then you found out it was like $415 no, after, no, no, they, no. after they took the <laughs> no, cut out of it. No, no. Uh, so, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have made that up. Little fiasco that I had told you guys about that finally came to a resolution or told right. you guys offline. You yes. know what this is? Yeah, I don't the, know where we're going. It's the package. Yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> this was probably oh, yes. the one of the most. Speaking of things in transit, yep. things in transit. Speaking of rough rides, <laughs> yeah. So I think this like started a few months ago. A saga. The good folks at Forty Three Einhalb, a sneaker store in Germany, got to do an Adidas ZX collaboration. So mm -hmm. they were like, "Hey, we want to hit you up. We're only doing five limited edition like seating packages. This thing's going to be crazy. We want you to be one of the five people yeah. that gets this." I was like, cool, the shoes are awesome. Misha, thank you for setting this all up. And I just thought it was gonna be, you know, I've gotten tons of packages from overseas. I've never had an issue with it. I know like if you live in a, uh, another country, typically you have to like go to like the post office and like pay customs to like right. get it. But for whatever reason big, in the yeah. States, like you don't have to pay customs mm -hmm. for it. So they were like, if you have any issues with customs, let us know. And I'm like, well, I've never had issues with customs. Shouldn't be an issue. Wait, you've never had issues with customs for packages. Yeah. But maybe wealthy, I feel like going into a foreign country, they look at your rap sheet no, and you know what type of stuff you're no into. Passport, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I get like um, them hitting me up being like, hey, customs says everything's like something's going on. We need your either your social security number or like your employer like identification code. And I'm like, dude, I am not giving out any of this yeah. information. Yeah. Like, even if it is someone, and I was getting these like weird emails that were from official like UPS, like uh, you know, uh, usernames, and but I was they were asking me all these questions about like my employer and the my import codes and all this sort of stuff yeah, and i'm like dude i have no like i just want like yeah you, i just want yeah. this thing and i'm like what the hell did they send me yeah that is causing this like big snafu at yeah. customs so i'm coming to shoot the podcast i'm leaving my apartment and at this point you've written it off yeah it's you one of those things figured, like unfortunately like i'm not like with all due respect back. i'm not going through these loop the, you know these jump holes to get these sneakers right yeah. so i go to the bottom of the stairs on the way to shoot this and there is the biggest box i have ever seen in and man did you rip that thing open <laughs> yeah well save the pictures we got to put it yeah. in. yeah well i had to rip it open because the th box was so big and it was so heavy that i actually couldn't carry it up the stairs now let me ask you this as a as a possible future super of the building I feel like you need to be able to move those boxes up and down the stairs. Like if somebody gets a fridge and they need help yeah. installing their fridge well, or well, air conditioning, thing. So you're, you're going to need to be there for this. Yes. I cut it open because I was like, maybe I can move this thing up. Like either it's smaller inside of it or like bit by bit, like to carry it up the stairs. Yeah. And I take it out and it's like a it's like a chest that has like locks on it and everything. Like super high industrial grade. Now we locks. know why customs was tripping. Yeah. <laughs> and no, and then I opened it up and I thought maybe it was like, oh, maybe they had like put in like a package of coffee in there or something. Fruits and nuts or something. Yeah, that was like, oh, we need to know this. So I opened it up. There's the pair of shoes and there's like a camping set in there. Mm -hmm. There's a portable grill. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that, That's like, good for you. Which is cool, but I'm like, I didn't expect you to send me a grill that I could actually like. Adidas grill? Yeah. That's what we're no, doing? No, no. This was, I. oh, I forget. Uh, the you hosting Hibachi Foreman? night? It's called. It's this brand called Scotty. It's like made in Germany. It's okay. an actual like really well made yeah. uh, thing. Um, As are all things made in Germany. Yeah, uh, it was a you know Snow Peak. Um, yeah. They, there was a Snow Peak knife. There was like a Leatherman. There was a there was a uh, a solar paneled um, cell phone charger. Wow. Okay. <laughs> they gave you the whole. Yeah, the whole there was kit. like a metal coffee. One of those uh, pour over kits like it was uh, that sounds into awesome. the wild shit or you know what it sounds like to me that you're perfectly set up to come out with us on this next college game day trip and yeah. host a tailgate Definitely. in a in a parking lot somewhere yeah 
and I have that that uh, tomahawk steak that the NFL oh, yeah. that you need to help <laughs> me cook. We, we got yeah. the whole situation. Yeah, there. it's gonna be dry age good. by the time we get. Yeah, to that exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and the, the shoes were okay. The shoes came in yes. as, as well because yes, you're mentioning the all the other items. But imagine they imagine they send the wrong size in the shoes or something no, like that. Well, but um, no, everything came, and I probably need to do an actual unboxing that we can probably. Put yeah. somewhere in here. It might be um, an FSR cold open one day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> grilling out on the, grilling out in Times Square. Maybe we go to City Field. Yeah, we saw. Did anyone watch last night? No, I didn't. We watch know it, you're a I big Mets you fan, of course. A huge Mets fan, and I was, like I said, to come full circle for what we were talking about. I was going to watch Sports Center to get the recap of the NFL Sunday, the mm -hmm. first NFL Sunday. The Yankees Mets game was still on. Yeah, and. Lindor, three home runs. I caught it at like the eighth, the s bottom of the seventh, and there was a lot of drama, some back and forth with him and John Collar. Stanton, crazy. That's a Yankees guy? Yes, yeah. crazy Mets game. Wait, so Joe, when you watch the Yankees-Mets games, do you show up with the 50-50? <laughs> Jersey, no, yeah, I just uh, style on the couch. On the couch, I have, yeah. He feel he feels all right. You have the like you have like the Mets fitted in the. Well, Yankees I just have colorway. the Ame Mets. <laughs> Fitted and the Ame Yankee fitted, and whoever's winning, I just switch. Oh or or do you God. have uh, yeah, outing no. himself? No. Did you have the Dairy Queen Sunday, uh, you know, the baseball helmets? Remember those that you used <laughs> to collect? Yeah. But do they no, still treats. make those? No. I, I, I mean, maybe not, but I was imagining that Joe's watching the game, so he has a Yankees uh, True or false. one no? with, the, with the Mets one. Maybe you got like the, maybe you got the Prosciutto. Maybe in one did. side, you got the olives. It was a little late for Brigitte. You though. got the olive. You got the olives on the other one, and it's just pick and pop. It was a little late, but it, it, it was a little late. It was a little late for he that, but it was a really pop. good game to catch randomly. And <laughs> you would never miss a Mets game. Never, never. Ben Felderstein, who I already brought up, knows that. Yeah, he'll vouch for me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure he will. But, <laughs> yeah, but you know, I got sent some shoes, and maybe we're gonna send some other people some shoes yes so. we are yeah that's right we have a question this week for our ebay sneaker giveaway from joel in the bronx and he's asking what is our favorite complex con only sneaker release and before okay. before we even show the shoe every time i want to tell the people how they can win yeah. the shoes because we do give away a pair of shoes yeah. with ebay each week here on the show how you can win the shoes is by going to ebay.complex.com uh -huh. and submitting a question for us to ask on the air if we pick your question we will give you a free pair of sneakers. Authenticity guarantee via eBay. Yes, sir. Wait, did you pick Joel Ortiz as the... <laughs> <laughs> as far as I Wait know, it's not Joel Ortiz. Yeah, well, I go. think yeah. he's from Brooklyn. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes, he is. Okay, Joe. Yes. What's the pair of sneakers we're giving away this week? Really, before we get into answering Really, questions? really good pair of sneakers. 2019 release. Nike Air Force One Low Off-White MCA University Blue. Is this your favorite out of all the yes. MCA, MoMA, the yellow one for Boston? I think I'm on record saying that this is my favorite one. Okay. I, the black and silver. Yeah, the MoMA one. Was, is an amazing one. But this color, this I is I need what I like about, this is what I always say about this one is like, after the 10, where is he going? Like. Yeah. You know, is there yeah. going to be one that's in the conversation after the 10? And then he follows up with this and just beautiful shoe. Beautiful yeah. shoe. Very tough to get. The first one that was followed up by the a sneaker we may talk about later, the yellow uh, uh, ICA, right? Yeah, that yeah. our friend Dennis Disco was wearing. On this very show. Yes, that Dennis Disco was wearing the yellow. He came and he, he came through and flexing. But I love this Air Force One. I love this color scheme. and Looks a little bit like the Complex Con Air Force One, which is actually my yes. favorite, I think, um, in response to Joel's question here. My favorite Complex Con only sneaker release was that Air Force One, the, the white version of this from 2017. That was, I think, one of the best Nike activations yeah. there with the gigantic Man. Air Force yeah, One. Kendrick Man. Lamar, yeah. Kobe Bryant, yes. rest in peace. Yeah, Skepta was there. Sam Ross, who's been on this show, was there very briefly. You and get to all, make your own Air Force Ones. Yeah, and we've talked about that thing a, a decent amount. And that was all those anniversary Air Force Ones, the, the Don C, the Rockefeller one, Travis Scott. But I think the... Complex Con exclusive Air Force One that released there was the best of them, and I managed to get a pair. And it was funny because for a second there, it looked like it wasn't going to be a Complex Con only release. Yeah. Sometimes stuff like that does pop up weeks later well, or months later. They also later. had the other actual Air Force One, and I think people may have gotten those 
confused a little bit too, right? Mm. But the thing for me was Nike.com had loaded the images oh, on the back okay. end, and it, you know, and yeah. so it looked like maybe they were gonna pop up on sneakers or something I feel like, like that. They but they do never that did. though. Yeah, like, there that what, doesn't always mean. Now. Wasn't there? Didn't that happen as well? I think with the the Guava Unions because people thought they were gonna drop on like sneakers. That sounds right. But, Another recent kind of hype shoe. But, but this uh, technically released at Complex Con. Oh, although, the blue one. Yeah. There's like two pairs. <laughs> <laughs> they gave away a couple pairs, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. so you guys, what are, what are your favorite same complex year for con me? Only same releases? year for me, 2017, I believe. Mm. I'm pretty sure the Nerd Adidas yeah. NMD, and mm. I got to get a pair. I think because it was kind of like an alley oop because we did the sneaker shopping with yeah. DJ Clark Kent in yeah. the morning. Oh, and you were early. just there. And at the Adidas Clark, booth. we went from station to station. People were setting up their their booths and he really ate that weekend yeah of course <laughs> yeah like I mean, he really and abdul i'm sure was abdul in the, in the abdul mix? wasn't he wasn't with us abdul had to stay home no he wasn't he it was, was 7 30 no, he the was morning. there i think okay. abdul was yeah but, about but when how we got, went like, it was 30 just pairs of shoes at the complex con really but it, but abdul wasn't like with us doing the sneaker shopping but no. it was like 7 30 in the morning people setting up and we just were going and clark was like all right we got to hit this we got to hit this we got to hit this and those nerd adidas nmd and then to have pharrell on the season finale season 13 of sneaker shopping yeah. did you wear the shoes for that i brought the shoes yeah they're on the table but you can't he really sign that shoe. Oh, you need right. like a silver like, yeah. pen or something like yeah. that. But I really like those. And that was my favorite release. I'm glad that I got a pair of those. What yeah, about you? and it's funny because they kind of highlighted some things that get missed as Complex Con releases when you were with Clark, like the Sean Weatherspoon mm -hmm. shoes. Like, yeah, they released. Yeah, but yeah. most people like don't really remember that it dropped at Complex yeah. Con. Um, for me, I mean... You know, it's tough because certain like things stick out. Like we obviously we've talked about the diamond dunk, just Canaries. being there and the yeah. mat the madness of it. Actually, you know, ended up getting the yeah. shoes. Shout yeah. out Nick. Um, but didn't get them at Complex Con. Um one of the ones that I I wish I could have kind of got, but that release got shut down was the undefeated Air Max ninety sevens. Yeah. Um but you can get them now for yeah. pretty Which close ones? to retail. Green, the, the green, green ones? ones? Yeah. yeah that that was, line was insane. And there was like a fight that broke out and yeah. they had to like shut it down. Yeah, I think that was one of those ones where they had to escort the shoes off the premises with the help of security. Yeah, which was nuts. Um I think my favorite was is the one I actually ended up getting was the re release of the Kennedy Yes. Yeah. Was that that same year? Yeah. There was so there was yeah. so much that year that was, was crazy big for sneaker release. There was the so concept. much wow. heat, and then I th and I think we talked about it here they like concepts that built like a sandcastle. Yeah. Uh, like a new yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I rem I can still remember exactly where they were on the floor. You'd go they down were right the escalators next to and you just take a left. They were right next to the union. Yeah. Booth. Across the across the yeah. little aisle. Yeah. And that union release was. Was that the Jordan One release? Yes, the bl the, black the, and gold. The black. Yes. Oh my there god! Was like so a many. fight broke out. We need a thirty like... for thirty on that complex con <laughs> release. We had, I think, uh, Carissa Sanchez at, uh, at Complex had interviewed uh, Chris Gibbs after that release had happened, and he was so mad. He's like, "The kids were acting like hooligans." That was like a like a direct quote, mm -hmm. and he's like, "They came up and they started to break my booth because his like booth was like kind of wall walled was in, shaking, right? Yeah, and like the kids started pushing the walls and like." All that being said, we'll see you at ComplexCon November 2021. A little bit of breaking news, I was going to say. We, we will back. be at ComplexCon. This Complex Sneakers podcast yeah. will be at ComplexCon. In the flesh. In the flesh. In the sanitized flesh. There may be some cool exhibition. There may be a live podcast, but but we will be there. So yeah. if, if you haven't bought a ticket yet, we, we don't know what other convincing we can do for you. And the one shoe I got That's pumped, not good value. I don't know what is. The one shoe I got pump faked on... That I wish I could have got at Please. Complex Con. At Complex Con. Please air it I, out. I think I'd mentioned this on Full Size Run. Is that the that same year, 2017, Atmos had showed up with a booth, and I thought they were re-releasing all of their like Air Max collabs. Oh, yes. Yeah, and I'm like so hyped about it. I like go over there. They had like the Air Max ones, the Beast yeah. Pack, all that sort of stuff. And I'm like, how much are these shoes? They're like. Five hundred and fifty dollars. I'm like, dude, you're reselling your own collaborations at Complex Con. Oh, I thought it was that they were dipped in lucite. No, they had, they had they had OG big... they had OG shoes dipped okay. in lucite that you could buy, which actually pretty cool. But they were yeah. reselling their own collaborations. Sneaker game fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Joel, these are headed to you. A great pair for the collection: Off White MCA University Blue Complex Con 2021. 
We'll see you guys there. We'll be there. Yawa. <laughs> you can give it a little more than that. I'm not. I, that's the first time ever doing it. You do it. He did I, it. I already did it. How many fucking I'm drops can it. I give you? Sorry, my voice is a little, a little rusty right now. Yeah. I am at from full screaming. health. It's just from. No, no, no. I, I 100% had that feeling screaming. A bunch of times. Yeah. You don't realize like when you're at the game and right you're kind of like, game, yeah. and then like the next day your throats are like. Ugh. Yeah. Had to let them know it was quiet. It was quiet in the horseshoe, you know, quietest stadium I've ever been to. They, they didn't have a lot to yell about. <sighs> All right, so it's just us this week. Mm -hmm. No kith. I mean, you're part of Just Us. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many people are in Just Us? I'm not sure. I just dropped off a pair of sneakers for him, though, at his apartment. You gave, you're giving Ryan? From Ronnie? Oh, from Ronnie? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're sick. I yeah. think I showed you guys. Custom were, dyed. Were you in the original Just Us? Uh, I'm in it. Uh, not the not, photo, but like the I can't cartoon? believe this is yeah, what we're no, getting into deep no. right now. <laughs> no, but I was there from the beginning. I'm yeah. Like, I got yeah. the dog tags and everything. <laughs> They know what it is. Shout out to Ronnie. Of Shout course, out to Kish. my brother. And okay, so it's just us this week, and people are going back to school. There was a little bit of traffic even getting here today because school is out. Oh, I thought they were mobbing your no, Uber when they that, saw you in the back. That caught me so off guard. I was like going to work out in the morning, and I didn't realize like you're walking past the school and you saw the kids there. But then it was it was kind of cool because I saw like it was like high school kids and they all had like new was, sneaks. Well, there was like a kid in like the Supreme box logo Air Force Ones, and then like he was with his friends. And the other kid had like the Easy Five Hundreds nice. on, and it you, seemed like they were wearing them for the first time for back to school. Yeah, and they were kind of like posted up on the corner. You could tell that they all were probably trying to like one up each other. Yeah. Love that. Well, I yeah, I walked out of my apartment. Kids everywhere. School is back, which means the summer is over, which means for us, not a bad time, maybe the best time to have the discussion. What was the sneaker of the summer? Just looking back real quick, if we could. Yes. We had this discussion at the end of the summer last year, yeah. right? And, and what was it? We didn't really have a definitive answer, but we kind of said New Balance 992 a little bit. Is that right? That or like Nike Dunks, like the, okay. the GR ones. And I think the conversation that we had last summer and maybe I think we've had this like every for summer because it's kind of fun because people say, what's the song of the summer? And like yeah. we talk about sneakers. Let's talk about sneaker of the summer. But like with song of the summer. It's always not the most like critically acclaimed song. It's the song that pretty much you heard everywhere on the mm -hmm. radio mm -hmm. you know so for sneakers it's almost like what was the most like ubiquitous shoe right to it to an extent not the best selling shoe ever but in our sneaker yeah. head space like the one that you couldn't escape you saw it everywhere i feel like it's dunks which which dunks for you yeah i think just in general i think nike is easing the shoe into ubiquity and making it more and more accessible like we said at the top of the year that they were going to do and i think that it's still a cool shoe but you're starting to see it everywhere, and there's so many colorways that... So many colorways. Yeah, any any given one doesn't necessarily resell for a lot, so even if you missed out on them at retail, they're they're relatively accessible. And they all look good. They all look good in they the They don't field. all look good. I mean, the white and black ones as that you, you see you, on as the long street. As you stick the white that, and black one. Be true to your school. The, the white king. and black lows you don't like? No, I'm saying that may be the most like commonplace like hype shoe that you see on a regular basis. I see I it all it. the time, it's, and I love it. Every time I see that, men, women wearing it, like... In on the street, it's like to me, it's a, it's a staple almost. Yeah, and it's yeah. a it, you can't not. To me, it's like it works every time. I do yeah. have to take a double check though when I see like a celebrity or artist posted on Instagram whether they're wearing the Supreme ones or not. Mm. Oh, a little yeah, bit, yeah, but yeah. I like the regular. The, the, the white and black is like the mom. Yeah. we have dunks at, uh, or what is it? Yeah, we have, we have dunks at home. at home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like. Uh, yeah, I like the white. And black. That's interesting. Do you own a pair? No. I wish I had those white and black lows. I have, I have a lot, and I, I've gone back and forth saying, "Oh, I'm not going to buy any more," and then I keep buying more. I still, I want the the flip one, the white and red. I think they're calling it championship red. I like I like that color blocking too, where they flip it. But I, I wish I had the black Th and white. This one. might be a little divergent, but it's a dunk. I just want to bring this up real quick. Hmm? I'm so frustrated about that un Tiffany dunk winning that yes, that please. that Koj. Where was that? I, this is funny because I thought we were gatekeeping earlier. Now we're gonna get to the gatekeeping. So okay. go off. There you was, have the floor. There was a Nike had done an Instagram vote back. No, not on Instagram. On sorry, sneakers app. Sorry, on sneakers app. And they had done that previously, but the previous one was it on sneakers or Instagram? The LeBron one. The LeBron was on. I remember sneakers. that. Okay, where you know where you vote for this sneaker versus this sneaker, and they ran it bracket style, so they tried to. 
do the best Code JP Concept Japan shoes. A lot of like limited edition sneakers from the early 2000s. Ueno Air Force Ones. <laughs> yes, which Joe, you remember that shoe? Sakura, the Sakura Ueno Air Force Ones. Of course, yeah, like of course. And there's all these things. And the shoe that won was those un Tiffany. Which nobody has ever really called it that, right? Yeah. We agree on that? So wait, I never heard that as un Tiffany ever. That's why I was a little confused. That's what people called it on Nike Talk well, back in the there's day. There's a lot to be confused really? about. Really? But I don't think that it was even a CoJP shoe, because I'm pretty sure everyone said that shoe was sold at Journeys back in the day. Yeah, you put that out there on Twitter, and people seem to agree with you. And our friend, the best reply to it was Dennis Tedisco. He's what did he like, say? He's like, I had the shoes. He posted a picture of him wearing them with some huge LRG jeans, but he was. it looked like he was in a college dorm or something like that, but he had the chin strap. Nice. <laughs> you know what makes me I did that once. You know what makes me angry and I'll, I'll get upset with you and get my Jimmy's Russell here too. I'm looking back at the tournament on Nike and the first round I think it was, they let the Beast Pack Dunk Lows from 2006 beat the Atmos Air Force 1. Yeah. I, I, again, I I don't want to be old man yelling at cloud or a, anytime you talk about old shoes people say you're gatekeeping. But there's an you're objective to, there's an objective take on these things too. I'm just trying just, to give some people some context around which is the most important shoe in each matchup and uh, come on anyways sorry to bring us down that but that was that was a relevant sneaker topic this <clears throat> no summer. it very it very much was. it's yeah. interesting so you almost have the dunk as two summers in a row yeah i mean i'm still excited about it and you know it's also a shoe that i don't mind if they're like watering it down a bit or making it really accessible because to me the dunk doesn't have to be some protected shoe that you don't see all over the place because even though it was that when they first brought it back a few years ago now, I guess, or maybe a year and a half ago, it wasn't that earlier on. So to me, it's like, yeah, do a bunch of dunks, make some special pairs, but we don't need every pair to be a super limited thing. It's cool to me to see those around. So you're saying that the dunk is hoving it? <laughs> what, is, what do you mean? I mean, Jigga held Double you down, down six, six summers, oh, damn. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. One question about the dunk. Do you think that the Nike could do that for like an Air Max 95? Like, I feel like, yeah. you know, people were saying this summer, so. like, and I've been wearing Air Max 95s the whole summer, literally. Really? Like, yeah, the, the, the CDG ones, CDG ones yeah. and the all black ones and the black and white ones. And even, even like the regular neon ones. What's do you think the, they could do it with? What's the other one you've been wearing? Oh, the Coral Studios. Coral Studios. Yeah. Mm. But, but I've been wearing 95s the whole summer, but do you think Nike could do what they did with the Dunk to like a 95? For like one summer or... Yeah, I think sure. the Air Max line at this point doesn't have the same steam behind it for whatever reason. Like Nike keeps on... like, And I love all the Air Max shoes, so yeah. I'm not the person saying that. But every time it feels like they try to like make the Air Max line like super special again, it just mm. isn't able to like gra grasp it 100%. I think they could with the right long-term play of making something more scarce and, and yeah. dialing it back for a while and then slowly introducing it back yeah. into the market. I mean, they leveled up the Air Max 97 in a huge way in the that past four years because before that heavy treatment retro-wise of the 97, the Air Max 97 was not a mainstream shoe. No, it was not a sneaker at all. head shoe. Nobody had the, a pair that, of 97s. Yeah, that, that, that caught me so off guard stuff. that year. Like, the mm. year that the silver and gold... Yeah, 2016 into 2017. Yeah, got retro. You just saw, like, everybody wearing that shoe yeah. in New York. And, and I think they could do similar thing with similar models. But I, just I think, think the problem the with in. Air Max is, is that, like you said, it's, it's, so, it's always been continuously available. Yeah. Mm. So it's not like there's any sort of fervor around these like things. Like back. Yeah. I think it didn't for, go anywhere. Yeah. I think for me, one shoe that really sticks out and kind of wouldn't say it's the Ben and Jerry's moment, but it's like the shoe that everyone I feel like was chasing and it and like the value here. The value is like super high on it. Mm -hmm. And if you look from like a main maybe like a again, it's not the Ben and Jerry's moment, but like from a mainstream perspective, I think the Travis high. Yeah. Well, like do you guys? Do you it's guys like think four thousand dollars now or whatever? Yeah, and it's like I know that you guys sometimes say that maybe the the shoe of the summer has to you have to see it out, right? But I do see it. I saw a random guy wearing the Travis Fragment Jordan One Lows That's, at the airport. Uh, somebody who I would not expect, you know, I've a seen fifty them, year old guy. Just I've seen them out a little bit. Even at our event, I saw a couple. Yeah, and I think like looking back at the summer in terms of yeah, it's a very big hyped release, but like I feel like that one sticks out as one that really moved the needle. I feel like there's almost two different tiers. There, there's like the most hyped sneaker okay. like that, and then there's kind of the sneaker that 
like we said, is more accessible or that you see out and about. Mm -hmm. You can't ever say that the Travis Scott Fragment Jordan 1 project, the high and the low, mm -hmm. wasn't huge. But I do still think not a lot of people really were able to enjoy it on the same level of yeah. a dunk where you go downtown and you see a bunch of them or you're out yeah. and you see a bunch of them at any given moment. The other shoe that I think that um, sneaks into that category, and maybe this, and I think we spoke about it, it maybe more of a regional thing, but the New Balance 550. Oh, uh, definitely. And really, of the summer? <sighs> still out there. But it, it, it's not new, though. But yeah, that's, that's still that's, out that's there. The dunk isn't new either, you know? Yeah, but people are wearing new dunk releases. I just don't feel like there's been a lot of new 550 releases there's during the summer. a lot of GR colorways, I thought. I, I still don't see them as much as I see the ARDs. I'm Alien Door ones that introduce the shoe. I mean, I do agree in New York, especially right now, and still I think this is what you're alluding to the with the regional thing. Pair, yeah. yeah, You see those a lot, and I think it's a great shoe, but for this summer particularly, to me, it didn't really stand out. Have you ever worn them? No. And what? What? why wouldn't you wear them? I'm it's interested. Not, it's, like not, a new it's not that I wouldn't wear the shoe. Maybe it's not like 100% like my style, okay. you yeah. know, when it comes but to... big New Balance guy, obviously. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, why I'm not, I interested. I'm not against that shoe at all. I don't want to put it out there like I don't like that sneaker, but like I feel like I just like more of the running shoes. You yeah. Know? Okay. So. yeah. Speaking about like more of the running shoes... Joe Fresh Goods, yes, New Balance. Yeah. That's another one with to me. It's on a different tier, yes. you know. Because it's a moment, though. Definitely. Yeah, that was sure. a moment. It's a moment, and I love that shoe. I yeah. think Joe's done a great job. People got mad at me. I was tweeting about the rollout, and I thought, no, no you always bring this up. <laughs> you did did say, I bring this up once already? Yeah, yeah. That you said he did a good rollout, and people got mad at you, or because you <laughs> value you. the transparency. Yeah, I, I brought that up on here already. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. May have been it's not camera. fine. I don't want to give no, people the same fine. content week after that's week. A, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. But yeah, it fits into the conversation. But I think that's definitely, again, it's in that and they, Travis and they had the yeah. the universal Realm. or global release this, this past week. Yep. Universal? <laughs> Going all across the solar system. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, so I like those shoes a lot. Hope, hoping did you did you get a pair Jim? i did get a pair yeah but i did get a pair but mine came from overseas so the box isn't the blue yeah box. important distinction oh. you got to yeah. get it from the u.s retailers if oh you want really the special i didn't box. know that. Yeah, yeah the, the u.s retailers had the special blue box which was really nice mine was the regular gray one fingers yeah. crossed i think i have a pair of the the levi's 990 v3 is coming in you like those, those, those people those, really like those, like those. yeah i like those a lot someone from my hometown who never talked sneakers with me sent me a picture of like the blue ones and was like, like man these are awesome hmm. i, I want to take it back to the dunk for a second because yeah. i think one of the interesting things with that shoe too is that to me the regular version of it the non-sb version of it has eclipsed the sb version of it in this moment because last year i think when we were talking about dunk so much we were it's often talking about sb pairs collaborations or otherwise this year to me the sb dunks in comparison haven't been doing as much i think the best one this year is the carpet one i'm biased of course those are my guys I'm wearing a shirt that says carbon on it right now. I did not plan that. The Supreme one is the biggest one, but SB dunks haven't been super big this year, right? Yeah. Am I am I off base in saying that? I would the, agree, and I think you. I love when that happens. There was the Para P Rod. Oh right, 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 right. There, there was the Para Olympic ones. Yeah, what the P Rods? Oh, and that's the thing. A lot of the Olympic ones, which would have contributed a lot to that shoe having a moment this summer, got pushed back. The Quarter Snacks was supposed to be an Olympic shoe. It's mm. barely out. The FTC. FTC didn't make a lot of noise. All those Gundam ones were. Tokyo tie-ins, yeah. they're not out yet. So th that was a moment that I think the SB Dunks could have had this summer. I don't think it would have elevated them yeah, to the point but of sneaker this I, summer. But I do think it changed a little bit with the Dunk this year for what, for whatever reason. And I don't know why, but it just felt like the S every SB Dunk last summer was super mainstream. Or with people that may have not been in the SB Dunk bucket before were like all in on it. Mm -hmm. But here's what I would say, and, and it kind of relates to this, and it kind of puts us into perspective. Someone asked you... Hey, I need a good sneaker for back to school. Yeah. Yeah. And you love this kind of task, right? You yes. love helping people out. Yes. I'm probably recommending the a dunk mm -hmm. or maybe even like the New Balance 550, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. What would you guys say? Right now, like someone's, oh, you know, I need to get, what's I a good I would direct them to, to the back to the school sneakers list that we have on yep. Complex right now. There we go. And I would encourage them to buy a pair by clicking the affiliate links in there. But can Which, you buy, but you may receive some revenue. What about, what about what you have on feet right now, Brendan? Lightning Jordan 4s? Yeah. Do you think that's one of the sneakers of the summer? Yeah, I guess so. I guess I hadn't really Big retro Jordan release this yeah. summer. Yeah, and it's such a summery sneaker. Look at them. They're glowing on my feet right now. I, I, I feel like there's a little bit of buzz around that shoe. Yeah, back. and it's a, it's it's one of those sneakers, and I think this is maybe something that contributes to the sneaker of the summer conversation that we haven't mentioned yet. 
is one that really turns heads, you know, a neck breaker to kind of use mm -hmm. a cliche. And to Were me, neck breaking at the stadium. Yeah, wearing the shoe. I mean, they're such a bright shoe. I, I got to reference the carpet dunk real quick because when I was interviewing those guys about making that shoe, they said yellow shoes never sell is what something at Nike told them. And if you think about it, there's not a lot of yellow sneakers that are really big. Yeah, well, I guess Volt, but Volt doesn't really count. Yeah, mm -hmm. Vol Volt, Volt is maybe the exception or something that throws a wrinkle in that. But because of that, you, you put on an all-yellow shoe and people are looking constantly. Well, so I do think this is kind of a summery, big Jordan moment. I yeah, I like that. I do think with that shoe, though, the one thing that I saw, and I guess, you know, I guess you're included in that group um, where uh -oh. it would – no, not, not a – I'm not saying a bad thing driven, at all. It was driven by influencers? No, where it's like a shoe that it was kind of hard to get when it first came out. And there was maybe a lot of people that a whole generation that kind of wanted it. But yeah. Maybe, maybe yes. missed it. And that, yeah, was 15, yeah. and that was 15 years ago. Yep. So you've been waiting this long Definitely. to kind of get your hands on them. Like I saw you wore them. Our friend Corey from Circulate, yeah. uh, he like threw them on his feet yeah. right, as, right away as well. So it and, felt And like, even if you weren't waiting that whole time, you just see it and it is such a striking shoe. That you even if you don't have that history with it, you're like, oh well, bright yellow it Jordan. Feels 4. like maybe it's fun to wear too, where it's like I, you're not even yeah. trying to match it. You're like, it's summer. I'm just gonna wear these, like yeah. whatever. Yeah, you know. I also think Summertime, some baby. stores haven't got them yet. Yeah, some of the like shipments. Big box. I mean, I mean, oh, you've been trying to get them. Are you? Yeah. Did? You, uh, I didn't get them yet. Are you still working on it? Because we could put the PSA out there right I now. I got them from StockX. Okay. Okay. Checked it off the list. Yeah. I was just like, and you're a big Jordan Four guy, so I feel like this is kind of a must for you. Yeah, Jordan Four guy, and I had the black and yellow. So one. you What's can the... wear them to the Ducks game we're all going to. Welty, what are you going to wear? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you didn't recommend the sneaker yet. I want to know. If someone asks you what What's a good back to school sneaker? What are you telling them? Uh, man, um, this summer, or like no, like now, like hey, I'm shoe shopping. Yeah. Uh, so we're now we're talking about back to school, not. We well, this, you. Yeah, it's yeah. all related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get back you to know, it. You know what? One thing that I think is. Oh, but he didn't really say his. He no, I'm not. Hold on. You haven't. You haven't. One found of the, one of the shoes that I want to throw into the conversation that's maybe not a shoe that I feel like I have seen everywhere this summer, which was one of the sneakers of last year. Hope. Yeezy Foam Runners. I have seen Yeezy Foam Runners everywhere Where? this summer. Outside really? or yes. on Instagram? I guess no. I've seen a decent amount of users. No, I've seen a lot. Because they're they, certainly making more. Because they released a bunch, like, you know, in, in recent times, and, like, it's kind of a summer shoe, you know? Like, yeah, it literally, no socks. Yeah, you know, but I saw people wearing it with socks. Okay. Do they um, bring up the yep. Yeah, don't put it in. <laughs> so really, I saw, I saw a lot of people, yeah, maybe out in Jersey, whatnot, I've seen a lot of people wearing uh, foam runners just Another, another neck breaker. You think you think it's in the conversation for shoe sneaker of the summer? I think if you're putting together a sneaker of the summer mixtape, I think yeah, it's it, on there. Track I, eight. I, yeah, I think I think it gets a song on it. Um, one of the shoes too that I think had a little bit of a moment. I don't. I wouldn't say it's sneaker of the summer, but the New Balance Refine Future. Maybe some people call it the Protection Pack. Those <laughs> don't call it the Protection. Don't pack. call it the Protection so, Pack. Well I saw article. that you and Trinidad going. Back and forth about that. That shoe was like impossible to get. I think it's like it's not even reselling for that much, but it's like I don't know. I I haven't gotten a pair. Um, I'm not looking to them like, up on eBay not to be right that now. person, but I no, I haven't been able to. I haven't gotten a pair. Um, Trinidad said he went to Stadium Goods and they were sold out. Really? In wow. his size, at least. Looks like you can get a pair for around uh, 220 to fifty on eBay. Yeah, Authenticity like guarantee. Retail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which uh. is cool for. A, a gr ish new bound is it fair to call it a gr yeah okay and i think i had put out I, or i put out like last week i was like this is my summer rotation these were like the four shoes that i actually wore this summer oh yeah what well, that, because that's an interesting thing too because we yeah. talk about all these shoes and maybe we're not actually wearing yeah. them what were and, you and these weren't summer? like hype for the most part shoes but it was bodega 990s i feel like i wore that shoe all the time this I mean, summer you wore it through a flood yes um wore those a uh, pair of navy 990 v5s um, those fresh rag Sauconies that I wore on the show, the manatee shoes. And the manatee shoes? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah and yeah, yeah. a pair of gray A6 Kayano 14s. Those were like the four shoes I wore the most this summer. Joe, do you know off top what shoes you were actually wearing this summer? The 95s. Like, yeah. All the time. Oh, you already These said These a lot. Excuse me. These a lot. Uh, do you have any sort of slide situations you had this summer going on, Joe? Do you, are you at? Do you know? Or you're? No, I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> I, just, I, just think, I just. I didn't know if Joe was. Like, I feel like. No, no was... slide. Not no slides, this yeah. summer really. But the night I've been wearing a lot of 95s. A lot. 
95, not the most comfortable shoe in the world to me. It's a little heavy for the summer, too. There's right? like a, there's something weird with the way the tongue's like attached that kind of like rubs yeah. against the top of your foot. I love 95. They so. get so narrow at the toe, too, and they feel quite stiff up front. What about you, Brendan? For... Yeah, uh, um, you know what? Honestly, Reebok Club C Mid, I have a pair that I keep right by the door, so I wear those like a decent amount. I'll bring out a pair of dunks every now and then, so that that kind of holds true to what I was saying in terms of sneaker of the summer. And then a lot of random stuff that I'll wear once and then put away and regret in a few years that I don't have a dead stock pair of Hoka's or Jordan like this, although, you know, we had to bring these out. For and the I know there's always, like, just to throw it out there, some people don't think we're out of touch. Some people are always going to say white and white Air Force One sneaker of the summer. <laughs> right? I guess yeah. so. But that's not, like... Uh, but but just to just to put not an put, put it out there for posterity's sake for Clark yeah <laughs> for Clark he's like this Clark shouldn't even be a discussion the, the answer is white and white Air Force One are there any other New Balances that qualify randomly I feel like I saw this the Leahy Benberry New Balance 2002R want to yeah. be the guide I feel like I saw that shoe a lot yeah I feel Bodega so. I think has been out there a little bit as well that, yeah uh, Wealthy was outside with them yes, yes you were well um, documented you know the the Nike Air Hirachi I don't think was the sneaker of the summer. But I feel like they're quietly doing a lot of cool stuff with the Hirachi this year. And maybe some of it came before the summer. But, like, the I, I can't believe these were all the way back in February. But those Stussy pairs, to me, yeah. those were so good. And then you mm -hmm. escape after that. Maybe maybe we're doing too much crossover into just, like, the best sneakers of the year. But yeah. OG colorways, and they redid the shape. But I guess the Hirachi is just a bad summer sneaker because it suffocates your foot so much. That <laughs> it like, seems like it's airy, but it's not. All. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have to, like, get it in a size 14 so it fits. Yeah, and, and that, that's okay to me that the Hirachi doesn't have people going crazy right now. Yeah. But I think quietly, escape pairs, you know, there's there's good Hirachis out there. I did see a handful of people wearing those undefeated Air Force Ones, the white and blue pair. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Chris Vidal, of course, I sold him a pair. Yes. I, I, like, I, I like everything Undefeated did with those Dunks and Air Force Ones this summer. And I think the Air Force One could really have a big year next year and summer as well because it's a big anniversary year for the shoe, and I think they're going to end up doing – a lot of stuff around it, but we'll, we'll we'll see how that pans out. By the way, where's these where's these Drake Air Force Ones? Speaking of Air Force Ones, yes, I don't know. That shoe should be out by now, right? Yeah, I mean everything is messed up right now. Every release date is being pushed. Everybody's yeah. having trouble getting product into the, into the U.S. So all that stuff is very much. Are you influx. are you getting dressed this morning, listening to Way Too Sexy in the Mirror? Joke? <laughs> no, no, where did that come from? I'm talking know. about the Drake album. I did you see the Billboard <laughs> chart. Yeah, did you see yeah. the dominance. Yeah. Wow. Yep. The only one that he was didn't have. Who who had that spot? Sneaker Shopping Zone. Kid Leroy. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sneaker sir. Sneaker Shopping alum. <laughs> Met Gallus tonight. Do you think we're going to see a sneaker moment there? I feel like there always is a sneaker well, moment. Well, are any of us going? I'm not going. Do you know Do you know we missed Do you Brendan? know I actually tried to go one year and I got suited up and it didn't work? How close Would you get denied at the door? I want to uh, know what just, we missed, but I want to know yeah. Joe getting yeah, denied it, at the it Met just, Gala. I think there was like, it definitely wasn't, maybe as media, I guess, but you had to dress up and it just didn't. Oh. It what didn't, was the fit? It was a suit, I think. Who made the suit? It was years ago. Before, like, it was years ago. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know who made the suit? I, I'm not. I'm not imagine, sure. Imagine no, nothing. You, nothing you no, no really. I, it was probably not like not a, not anything special. But Armani I remember. Exchange. I remember going because, like, oh, you know, you're there's some list and it didn't happen. But I, I was just saying it would suck if you had like hard bottoms. Uh, yeah. Man. Cole Hahn. If you had like a, I wouldn't get even give me that much credit. No. If you had like a date lined up as like a plus one, you're like, we're going to the Met Gala tonight, and then like you get the night at the door. <laughs> well, you were saying that we missed a shoe. What? Well, we, we miss? talked about dunks, and we didn't talk about the most popular dunks of the summer. Hold on, is this? We're literally missing the biggest sneaker event of summer 2021 which we can say i will go on record after this saying definitively these were the sneakers of the summer i'm sorry i i'm not Let with you I don't give know. us a hint yeah give us a hint yeah string us along here a little bit if i were to throw two quarters up in the air 50 off-white 50 dunks excuse me excuse me we all knew that excuse me i did have that in my notes okay i did want to so talk let's about talk about dunks. it that was, I would say, the sneakers of the summer. I'm not saying the best sneakers of the summer, mm -hmm. but the biggest sneaker moment of the summer. That kind Bigger of than Travis Fragment Jordan. Package. Well, you know what? Here's here's the it was thing. accessible. Here was the, yeah, you could get them. So that's if, that, if, you could if, get them. Could if you got access. You oh know. right. Well, I, wasn't there? Here's correct me if I'm wrong. Getting it. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. But didn't. 
get people get these more than usual? I feel like I saw a lot of people getting That's them. That's all I'm saying. Which was I weird to me because I don't like exclusive access as a tool for releasing shoes on the Nike sneakers app. I think it doesn't allow you to actually try and get the shoes. You have no idea what the criteria are. I mean, Nike's put out the criteria a couple times, but then they change it. And it's, it's all still very opaque. And you, you, you don't actually get the sense that you tried to get the shoe. So I want to dislike it, but they did give me exclusive access to buy these shoes. And I feel like a lot more people than usual got access yes. to buy the off-white dunks. So we were seeing them a lot more on the timeline. And even being outside, when Zach DeBasic, managing editor of Soul Collector, was here in town in New York a couple of weekends ago, we were talking to each other about how many pairs of off-white dunks we saw outside. So it was one of those shoes that on paper you would think would be a super limited thing that nobody's going to actually wear. People are just going to resell and nobody's going to get it anyway to have the option. But I've seen those shoes outside a decent amount. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, I would just say that it was interesting because, I mean, I didn't really. So here's the thing. And I had mentioned this to you beforehand. I didn't care about those shoes at all. Not from, even to resell them. From a... You know what? I don't really put that. I'm not saying I'm like anti reseller or anything like that, but mm -hmm. a lot of times I just don't put the effort or energy out there to like yeah. try and get this stuff. So for me, I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna go there for it. Were so, you checking the sneakers app? No, I wasn't. Every day at noon no, when they were releasing but the exclusive. It was interesting to see. It was like, and to me, this is what makes it the sneaker of the summer. Is that you know everyone waited for the Travis shoes to come out. You know, finally after this like. It feels like they've been teased for like months and they, you know, they finally dropped like international highs, lows, yeah. you know, this release, bunch that, of bunch of gear to go with. Yeah. That, this, the, this release, that release, the restock, um, or the, wasn't there like his website loaded them up or something like that. Um, but it was almost like, uh, it was almost like this, like hot summer sort of, uh, energy around the 50 where it was like every single day it was like a it was like the virgil abloh 50 dunk saga that went on for like two weeks during the summer you know it was like which i again i hate that idea because i want to just know whether or not i'm going to get the shoe and be done with it yeah. but they managed to drag it out and prolong it to where it was an event at noon for so long and people waiting and checking and seeing if you were going to get it on the app so Kudos to them, I guess, but I know what you mean. It did feel like a bigger event because every single day it was... And yeah, it was consistent in the conversation. And a lot yeah. of people got the shoes. Also, so yeah. many YouTube videos trying to track down all 50 of the off Really? Dunks. It's like the... It's been like the well, go-to. Yeah. And then there was the whole... Does anybody have all... If, if, if you're listening to this, if you're trying, watching this, and I, you have all 50, we want to know. We'll send you a, a box of cookies or something. And I can either, neither confirm or deny this, but it, I do think it's kind of crazy that there was this whole conspiracy going around that FedEx drivers were stealing all of the off-white tongues. Yeah, I don't really know. I, I saw a lot of those tweets. We didn't follow up on on that stuff, so I don't know the veracity yeah. of those claims. I was a little bit anticipating that, though, when I got my box from FedEx. And part of this has to do with the flimsy boxes they're shipping it in these days. But my box looked like it had been open, so I was kind of... Actually, no, I could tell by the weight that the shoes were, in fact, in there. But I was definitely like, oh, I see what people mean. Also, my box wasn't numbered. It has the lots on the Nike box and it's they're supposed to be like sharpie off into which one you have. They didn't they didn't mark it. Number ten, by the and, way. And all of them released, right? Every yeah. single one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When was they, the last how recent? Uh, a couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get the did you get the black ones, no, Joe? But no You but want them? I've been seeing them I've been seeing them more and more. Yeah. I do think the first one is the best. Looking good. The white one. Really? Yeah. I think someone wore those. Two of the white one or the black one. I think we saw someone wear those at the ice cream event. Yeah, definitely. That's what I mean. Like, people yeah. are wearing the shoes. We saw the fragment, Travis Fragment One yeah. lows at the ice cream event as well. Yeah. But for me, yeah, I'll say that the I think that the Virgil, the 50, was the biggest sneaker hype moment of the summer. Also, it, and it was also kind of like new to, to keep rolling out the same project yeah. in a different release and... 50 of them. We, I think in the beginning, we were like, how is that going yeah. to be possible? How are you going to yeah. design 50 shoes? Like... What was the cadence? It was every day they were doing it. Every it? single yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, wow. on the sneakers app, exclusive access. Yeah, I even lost track, to be there honest. There was also another Virgil Abloh sneaker that came out this summer. Yes. The ICA, Air Force One. Dennis Tedesco basically sat in this chair. And yes, <laughs> wearing you're yellow wearing, shoes. Yes, you are wearing yellow shoes, <laughs> but he wore a different pair of yellow sneakers. Carry on tradition. <laughs> Who am I to fuck tradition? The ICA Air Force One. But that's not the sneaker of the summer. No, any, but I'm just saying means, you'd right? be remiss not to mention it within Virgil Abloh's body of work. This yeah, summer. yeah, yeah. And of course, enough. like we say, end of the year or end of the summer, every time he's in the conversation.
Absolutely. He, and he has been for a while now. Absolutely. 50 dunks later. I can't believe there's 50. Did I, I wear them? Yeah. You still have your pair? <laughs> you thought I just resold them right away? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm still holding on to them. You know what, though? I don't think I'll necessarily wear those over any of the plain dunks. I feel like most of the time I would rather just wear, you know, a black and white dunk or a red and gray dunk or something like that. Can, can we talk about your reselling snafu real quick? Or do you feel comfortable bringing that up? The one from today? From yesterday. Um, I don't know what it was, but sure. The Sakai? Sakai's? Oh, oh, that was, the, yeah, that was today. Oh. Yeah, 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 please, yeah. No, I mean. Uh, yeah, but you said that you kind of agreed with it. Yeah, you know, sometimes you ship something out to StockX and you're confident in its condition and that it will not get sent back to you and rejected. And I shipped a pair of Sakai LD waffles out to StockX that I resold on there and they sent back some photos that showed maybe a little bit of sock lint on the liner. I had, I had asked you, I'm like, did you wear the shoes? I never and, wore the shoes. They were like a size 11 or whatever. Yeah, why would I wear a size 11 shoe? It's, especially that shoe, it's got a lot of it's got a lot of bulk to it. I'm not going to do it. But I mean, I guess they they thought the shoes had been tried on and maybe they were right. But what happened also was that they charged me and I've never actually had them go through with charging the cancellation fee. So I got charged a 15% fee or something like that and charged $100, $105 for this um Oh wow, was that was that substantial? Yeah, so um I guess I'm not taking PG out to dinner anytime soon. <laughs> Every episode. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode. No, he's helping me out with some other stuff. So I is he? Him. You have a list to him? Um, you know? No. Oh, you said the list. I said the list. Like yeah. Jericho? No. <laughs> no, like Abdul, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Fuck the list. Helping you out? With, what tracking down some other stuff? <laughs> no, he's uh he's unloading some stuff for me. Got it. Another nice shoe that came out this summer that Brendan Dunn got a pair of, and maybe you got a pair of. I didn't get a pair of. Hold on. That, that, that I thought were pretty sweet. Hold on. Do we know what this Very is? Very summer vibe. Do we know what this is? No. Jordan. No. No, I don't know. It's got to be a New Balance nope. thing. Adidas? Just us. Kith. Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Those are pretty sweet. The Hawaii, yeah, really the Hawaiian nice. Islands on the tongue. I really love that nice. sneaker. I might nice have to summer. pop back out to Hawaii just to. You know what? I actually asked Ronnie when I was going to see a picture of Joe on a surfboard. Yeah, I've Where never was there, there was no there was no kith trip for the no. There, but we that? went to Hawaii one of the last recent kith trips, and there was a pop up there, and I think that's. Were you boogie boarding? I know you said you don't surf, but maybe I didn't go in the ocean that trip. I went in the pool. You did? You wait? Whoa, 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 whoa! You, you went, went to Hawaii? Hawaii you didn't, didn't go, go in the ocean? ocean? What? I don't think I. I think I was. It was a short trip. I came from. You weren't out there kayaking. No. I'm a little disappointed. I know. I'm sorry. Did you put your toes in the sand? Did you go to the beach? Oh my I think God. we went to the beach, yes. I think we went to the beach, yes. <laughs> they went we to the definitely beach. went we to the, the beach. black sand? No, we definitely went to the beach. We, I think that, uh, we took like a boat over. Yeah. Good. And people were doing like the pat, the stand-up paddle. But not you. No, I didn't, I didn't go in. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what do you want me to do? As long as you're sorry. Go to a luau, any of that stuff. Can we bring it back to sneakers real briefly? Yeah. This is important stuff, but I got to say one miss i think this summer or one sneaker project that didn't make as much noise as it usually does i think is all of sakai's nike stuff oh it was awful i okay i wasn't gonna say awful i i don't necessarily like i don't like the blazers yeah and i think the blazers nobody really cared about and even the sakai ld waffle the fragment version which those are okay they're okay but the you, ones. you would just like think those, that it would be a bigger but... sneaker and then the gray one too it just it shows me to an extent that the Sakai thing is not that interesting right now. So I, I just, you know, again, it's one of those things where you think, oh, yeah, Sakai fragment. Why wouldn't that be huge? Or even more Sakai Nikes. But that stuff in this summer to me was not that big. Also, don't want to go into it, but there also was a very salacious photo of the Sakai oh. LD waffles out there. You don't want to go into it. You just brought it up. No, just uh, if you want to do your own research. What? Uh, we go can't go it. into it? No. Oh. You just opened the door. You don't want to walk through the door? No, I'm not going down that rabbit <laughs> okay, hole. Close I'm the door. Not, I'm not going down that rabbit hole. You can go. You guys close can, the door. You close folks the can do your hole. own research on that one. <laughs> um, but there was those. There was like the the clot pair that had just recently released. Yeah. Uh, Anything else? We're missing any other big sneaker moments this summer, so that wait, we don't get dragged. Joe, you in the got comments? the fragment uh, LD waffles though, right? The blue ones. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big Jolla Puma shoe. I like it. I'm gonna wear it. Oh, I know it. Yeah. Do we? Do you know the occasion yet? 
No. I'm but sure we'll see, see him on sneaker shopping soon. Yes. Yeah, hell yeah. Had a little mishap on the set of sneaker shopping with the Slam City Dunks. Did some shoes fall apart on you? Yeah. Oh, yes. What, what fell so apart weird. on you? The Slam City Dunks. Oh, you were episode. texting us. Yeah. And it was just, it was literally like You tar. were skating in them, right? Yeah, it Is was literally like tar <laughs> all over. I think, it, like, I think it's because like, you... the, the toe box on that is actually like rubber. Mm. You know, it has like that protective layer on it or whatever. So I think that that like it, that part rotted, which is crazy to think. But and I was also thinking, who would I hit up to talk about that? Who you would know? know? Who would know? <laughs> I was like, who could I text to I think, see? Yeah. I think who the... would be our go to for for that? Well, you're not going to fix it, but I think no. But just like, oh, have you ever seen this happening? Like... I need a good. I need a good person. And people always ask me this. I want a good person who's a restorer or a cleaner or something like that. And I would even pay for like a subscription service if I could just send out four shoes a month to get cleaned. I would love that. Does that exist? If someone I mean, could restore those, I would restore those. It was so so weird. It's never happened. The sole wasn't sole splitting or anything like that. It was just the rubber, and it had this like. You know who could do that for you, Brendan? Tell me, a good friend of ours, who happens to own a sneaker cleaning business. Jason Mark. No. Sterling Rob. Yeah. Sneakers ER. Yeah, but I'm not going to ship my shoes to Glasgow. I mean. If if <laughs> listen if if Rob if if he wants imagine, to set it up imagine if they get stuck in, you get your shoes to get cleaned and they get stuck in customs because there's like a piece of food in there and it detects <laughs> I like, got I got to fill out all the same customs forms that Welty was dealing with no yeah. we're not we're not doing that I think Joe your best uh, option on that maybe to like kind of if you, if it's already like gone to maybe try to brush the rest of the the crumb off of it oh so it's just complete like smooth, I got to figure it out you know. but it's it's like you take them out. And like still stuff falling off, it gets all over, and yeah. it's like actually tough to yeah to get out. But but sneakers of the summer, sneakers of the summer. Do we, ha- do we, do <laughs> we have our Hawaii? Do, do we, we have ha- Glasgow? Do we, let's last one. Sneakers of the summer. You're going with the Nike Dunk. Yep. You, I'll even take it a step further and say the Dunk Low. Dunk Low. You yeah. going Travis? In by definition of Duns, if we like tear out hype versus mm-hmm. accessible. I think there is a distinction to be made. I think, though, looking back, those Travises are going to highs be Highs or there. lows? The highs. I like the lows better, but I think the highs. Okay. I'm going the 50. Yeah. Not the 550. No. The 50. The 50. All right. Different choices. But that's what we're here for. Different opinions. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, I feel like this didn't cross over that much to the sneakers of the year, did it? No, I Correct. don't think so. Off white fifty is new. I don't new. think so. Yeah. Good. You know, we'll, we'll run down that list when we get there. We still got a few months to. Yeah, we'll see what's happening for yeah. the rest of the year. To get there. All right. Well, this has been the Complex Sneakers Podcast. We hope everyone has a great weekend. Stay safe. Like, subscribe. We will see you guys next week. Go Ducks.